hi ho, hi ho, it's back to school we go, or to school we go for reception and nursery children. Welcome to everybody. My name is Hannah and I work in lots of different churches and schools in your area. Before lockdown, I would usually come and visit lots of different schools like yours and talk about how important God is to us. But since I can't visit at the minute, I will be making weekly videos instead. And this week, I want to talk about something really important. Love. Have a little think now. What do you love in life? What would be your top three? Think now. Did you come up with three? You might have chosen Minecraft or biscuits or your family, or your best friend, or your pet. If you chose your pet, that must mean you love your pet a lot. But loving is more than just a feeling. If you just stared at your cat all day, loving it, but you didn't feed it, you didn't give it any water, you didn't play with it, and you didn't clean up after it, it probably wouldn't think you loved it at all. So love must also be an action. If you love something, you help it or act kindly towards it. Okay, you don't really have to act kindly towards biscuits. I just mean living things. If we love our family, we help them, we do jobs for them, we encourage them. And if they love us back, then they do the same for us. Love makes a big difference. I love love. As a Christian, I believe that God lovingly created every single human on this planet. Well, actually, in the Bible, it says that God lovingly knitted every human together while they were inside their mummy's tummy. Okay, he didn't actually use wool to knit us together. He used science to knit us together in our mummy's tummies. That means he chose which one of us had freckles which one of us had brown hair, which ones of us had a birthmark on our bodies somewhere, and so on. He also decided what we will be like as people, which ones of us would be funny, which ones would be athletic, which ones would be sensitive, and so on. And he did all of this because he cares so much. He put so much effort into making each one of us different, because he loves us all so much. So as you start this school year, don't compare yourself to anyone else. Don't worry if someone scores better than you in a test or someone has longer hair than you. Because here's a secret or two. Not everything is a competition and you're just not meant to be the same as anyone else. You are you and you're the best at being you. So just be you. So I'm going to pray for us all now. I'm going to use a little trick I learned to help me remember how to pray. And it might help you. P-R-A-Y. Pray. P for praise. God, you are so creative. You made literally billions of people on this planet and you made us all special and unique. You're amazing. R for repent. We're sorry for sinning. Anything that doesn't put you first, we're sorry for that, God. A for ask. I ask today, God, that everybody watching this video knows and feels your love for them. Not a general, generic love, but a specific personal love to each of us. Thank you for that relationship you have with each one of us. Why for yourself? This is when you can take time for yourself to reflect on this message. And while you do that, I'm going to sing a song and I want you to imagine that this is God singing to you. So listen to the words. I know that you have waited so, so faithfully. I know that it's been painful, but I want you to know that 
you are so pure, so precious, so lovely. You have been crowned with the measurable beauty, and heaven rejoices the moment you rise each day. So I sing over you a song of joy. Let the sun shine on your face. I'll breathe new life and heal your wounds. Do you know I love you? Do you know I love you? I hope you've enjoyed thinking about how much God loves you. And if you want to, you could go and listen to another song now. And I would recommend Nick and Becky Drake's song called Big Family of God. Have a fantastic week, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.